So I've had a request for making peach cobbler and I'll make it in the Dutch oven. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do today. And this is how I make peach cobbler in the Dutch oven. It's real easy. Some people I think call it a dump cake. I think. Um, but I call it peach cobbler. So all you need is one package of a cake mix, one can, and I'm going to make it in my Dutch oven so I'm going to use one can of peaches. And you can use any fruit, but I had the request for peach cobbler so it's going to be peach tonight and some butter and I'll show you how easy this is first I get I got to get the coals heating up and so we're going to do that right now if you've watched me um, in the past I heat my coals up with my little gas uh, gas stove I'm going to get my gas grill lit Some old fireplace matches I had left over from my my house days when I had a fireplace. I'll just use those up. Put the coals on top. That's how I start my charcoal. While wow, my coals are heating up. I'm gonna, I use one stick of butter, but I'm actually out, so I have almost a stick of butter. I want to thank Monty for my butter slicer here. It just makes it so easy. I needed a hard plate. This is just very level, but it makes it real easy. Let just do that when you're putting these on top of the cake because they're all the same size. Just a little pat of butter. And this is so easy and it is so good. And yes, I use the pie filling. So let me move this out of the way, bring my bring my Dutch oven over. I've already kind of coated the bottom with some coconut oil, but I'm just gonna put some more butter in there. Can't have enough butter. And you just sprinkle the cake mix dry right on top of the fruit. This is why it's so easy. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit to make it even. And then take your butter. This is the messy part. And you just plop it down on there and yes I washed my hands before I started this they're kind of melting together a little bit so I'm gonna help it out here with the knife but what I like about these the little pads pad of butter is that they're get the same amount all the way around and you wouldn't have to use this much butter but okay my secret is that I don't stir it in. I just let them melt and when it bubbles, it starts bubbling up and melting it. That's when you get the hard crust part. It tastes like cobbler. So it won't be chewy. You'll have some chewy parts, but where this cooks around the butter, that's where it's gonna be kind of crispy. So now we just put the lid on it. It's that easy. Well, let me move this over here, then I'll put the lid on. 
almost ready. Let me go a little longer. But that's what it looks like. It's gonna be gold. Okay, they're almost done. I'm gonna turn off the fire and just let those sit a little bit. And then we'll get them and I'm gonna put them in this grill. Okay, got the coals down. And some of those are old coals, so, but. And y'all know me, I don't always count how many coals go on top and on bottom. That's the fun of it. But you can, you can find that online if you want it to be exact, so. And then we'll put the lid on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And I'm gonna cook this probably about, I'm gonna check it at 30 minutes, but usually I find that about 45 minutes to an hour. And then you'll have cobbler, so I'll bring you back and we're a little closer. Mmm, that smells good. So about every 15 minutes or so, you're going to want to turn your Dutch oven about a quarter of a turn so you don't have hot spots and it burns your cobbler. And then turn your lid the other direction. Ooh. Okay, I just now turned the pot again and turn the lid. I did put a little bit more coals on the top and they're almost gone now. And I think we've been about an hour. I've been turning it and you know just making sure I didn't have any hot spots on the bottom. But let's see what it looks like. I think we're pretty close to being done. Oh yeah. See that crispy? Yeah, that's that butter and that cake mix. It's crusting up. That's what gets you the cobbler crust. Yeah, I think that's almost done. You could call that done right there. I'm just gonna do it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna call it done. Put this cool little lid lifter on here. Ooh, look at that. Yum. Yeah. Doesn't that look good? Yes. So you got little crusties. And even you could probably go a little longer. But you know what I forgot? Oh my gosh. We got to redo this. Uh oh. There'll be a part 2 or 12. I forgot the cinnamon. Oh. Ah! Oh well. What the cinnamon sugar? You put sugar? No, on just, top? no, no. Just, just cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but look. Okay, start over. Start over? <laughs> I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to go buy more peaches. Mm. And and that cinnamon will even make it crispier. Mm. All right, let's see what it tastes like. I know this is going to be hot. Do I dare do this? Mmm. That is good. <laughs> A little <laughs> spoon, here you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead and take this off. The fire! I can't believe I forgot the cinnamon. Oh well. We will have we'll do a redo. Again. We'll have to do a redo. But we might get cherry next time. You see that? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm ready to stop filming now so I can eat. Had a request for peach cobbler. It's good, even without the cinnamon, but I That's forgot right. the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. From New Mexico, we're out. Thank you, Rhonda from Strong's Adventures. I got my peach cobbler. It's very good.